Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're a regular here, you'll know that every Friday we share either something we cooked or in this case, this week, our shopping haul. So let's take a look at what we bought this week. Here. My name is Jane and my husband Mike is behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, debt and mortgage free and living here in Brittany in northwest France. And this week we're going to share with you our shopping haul. It's a huge shopping haul for us. There's only the two of us and we've bought pretty much all of our food to take us through to the end of the month. I will need to buy more salad throughout the rest of the month, but that's going to be it really. I have bought everything else we've needed to the end of the month. I've written this down to help us here. We spent 174 euros, which in US dollars is 176 US dollars. That's 147 UK pounds and 306 Australian dollars. So I hope that's helpful for you. I also share with you that when I buy anything by the kilo, a US pound is about half a kilo. So that's some information for you before I get going with you. So without further ado, let's take a look at what 174 euros buys you here in Northwest France. So from Netto, I bought a, let's have a look here, kilo bag of frozen onions, a kilo bag of frozen green beans. If you're local to me, I absolutely recommend Netto for their frozen products. They are absolutely superb, great to keep in, especially when onions are expensive at this time. And this is frozen green, red and yellow peppers. Doesn't go off. We don't often eat peppers raw. Then over here, because it is an absolute heat wave, I've got eight ice cream cones, and then I've got six, mm, what would you call those? We call those chuck ices on a stick. And then there's six of their premium mint and chuck ice cream cones. So those are for Mike. Those are for me because I don't eat the biscuits. And here, this is 10 in the UK, we call these ice lollies. We've got, okay, so we've got an absolute heat wave at the moment. We don't have aircon, we buy ice cream instead. There we go, that's my frozen goods. managed to get the anti-waste, the anti-gaspillage uh, bread and pastries today and there's so much here. We've got all the different breads, all the different breads and all the different pastries and here is a hint for you if you have bread and it's like this bread, it's not today's bread, it's yesterday or the day before's bread. You take the loaf of bread, you run it under the cold tap, you make it wet all over and then you stick it back in, as in my case, into my mini oven and heat it through and it'll be crispy. And it's like new bread again. It really is a great way of not wasting bread. There we go. Bread and pastries. through the refrigerated goods. I'm going to start off with here with, I bought two bottles of rosé, rare treat but it's summertime. Um, this one was under two euros and this one was about two and a half euros. This one, that one is our favourite wine, we like these. Let's go to the back, I've got some reduced food here, some pasta salads here which are going to be great for Mike's lunches for a few days. And as you can see, they cost 20 cents. And it says, together we can stop waste. So 20 cents. 
Then up here, again, we only have treats every once in a while. There is some um, chocolate eclairs. There's um, many layers with custard. And I'm going to see someone this afternoon, so I'm going to, I bought this to take for them. And it's, uh, it's a lovely sponge cake. And those were all one euro each, so they were from out of the Do Not Waste It fridge. I have got a vegetable spread, which I use if I make cakes. I've got two packets of cheddar, Emmental, a large pack of goat's cheese, two packs of unsalted butter. Really brilliant getting those on offer for three, nine, three seventeen for half a kilo. And then salted butter. This here is a cheese, a soft cheese with herbs. We've got the grated Emmental cheese. Same price, before you say, why don't you grate it yourself? Same price. Then we have a blue cheese, which is very much like a brie or a camembert, and that's a blue cheese. And we have two of the, this is very much like a Greek cheese, but it's French made. And this is great, so you can see the size of the pack. And that is fantastic, just as a meal on its own with salad for us. So there we go, that's everything that's going to go into my fridge. <laughs> I'm going to show you is the meat I bought and the meat has pretty much got prices on it so you can see some of the prices here. I have got pork shoulder. This is really good for making pulled pork, barbecue pork, it's really great for the summer and you can see here it was 7 10 a kilo and seeing as a US dollar and a European euro is about the same price you can halve that and say that was about $3.55 a pound, $3.55 a pound. And then this one here is a smoked joint of pork and you can see it's really good quality, there's absolutely no fat on it. In the UK, if you're watching this from the UK, this is the nearest thing we can get here to a gammon joint. And I roast it in the oven, wrap it up in foil, roast it and then so that one there was 10.35 a kilo. So let's call that $5.15 a pound. $5.15 a pound. If you are regular viewers, you know I buy this a lot. This is lard arms. And you can see here, it's chopped up lumps of fatty bacon. And I use it in cooking a lot, a lot. Then we come on to sausages. If you're watching in the UK, and you think, oh, these sausages look extraordinarily expensive. They're 100% meat. There's nothing in them but meat. And I think they are really, really good value as well. And a lot of the time our produce here, they'll tell you it, there's no nitrates in it as well. So you can see here, these was 5 49 a pack, but actually eight euros, 32 a kilo. So let's take that into dollars. That would be $4.15 a pound. Well, I've got some good deals today. This is ribs, rib of beef, so short ribs. Really good. I cook them slowly. One of these will feed each of us. One of, those will feed. One of them will feed each of us. So you can see here that was $4.90 a kilo. So let's just, let's just make that $2.50 a pound. And over here, pretty much the same again. Um, and you can see by the cut of beef here, it's it's really nice beef. And again, if it says this on it, it's to simmer. So it means to cook it slowly. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six slices in there. One slice will be enough for each of us for a meal. And that was five nights, let's call that six euros a kilo. So again, three dollars a pound. I'm reminding you again that 85 UK pence buys one euro. So you can take 15% of these prices and that'll give it your pound price. So there we go. There's the meat. I will separate it all into bags 
and get it into my freezer. Here's the next section. So this is fruit and vegetables. I've got five kilos of potatoes. I've got tomatoes, uh, salad onions. I use the green bits too. If I make a stir fry, I put those in. Cucumber. This is cooked beetroot. We absolutely love this. Onions. Two kilos of carrots and a big white cabbage. And here's a really thrifty trick for the summer when you don't want to cook. I make homemade coleslaw. I make it a lot. And um, once you've made it, you can keep it in the fridge for a couple of days. It lasts for ages. I've then got a lovely, big, lovely fresh cauliflower here and a huge, I mean huge lettuce. And I'm going to share with you a trick with lettuce as well. You can see I've got these very big Ziploc bags. What I'll do with this lettuce is I will pull it apart and put it all in the Ziploc bags and it just seems to last a week or more, easily a week or more. I mean, you can just leave the whole lettuce as it is and just pull off the outside leaves as you get there. And some of the outside leaves might not be great, they might dry out a bit, but the inside bit always stays well. And to let you see that this huge, big lettuce here, they're a euro. My cauliflower was 160. My massive cabbage here was two and a half euros. My onions were about two euros. My tomatoes were 160. The cucumbers won it about 80 cents. My beetroot uh, just under a euro, and so on. So my vegetables are really cheap here. Really, very, very cheap. It's one of the reasons we don't grow them. If I could grow anything, it would be pigs, cows, and chickens because they are expensive. Vegetables are not, and as you can see. They're really lovely quality as well for what we pay for them. Particularly fond of these in the summer. Really, really lovely. There we go. That was my fresh produce. This won't last us until the end of the month, obviously. We will eat all this and need to buy a bit more before the end of the month. go through my store cupboard now. I've got a loaf of gluten-free bread for me, regular sliced bread for Mike, I've got a bag of coffee, I've got two bags of sugar. This is a store cupboard thing. This is, this is great. When I had guests drop by the other day and we literally invited them, gave ourselves like two days notice, it reminded me just having like a jar of fruit or a tin of fruit in the cupboard means I can quickly get together a quick dessert. This is cherries. This here, if you're British, you will know this as fruit cordials and we mix this with water. This is black currant flavor and this is mixed fruit flavor. Then I have cider vinegar and olive oil. Olive oil continues to be really expensive. That was nearly seven euros for the olive oil. I am now working on the basis with salads and olive oil. It is so blinking expensive. Just buy the really best stuff you can. I have at the back six liters of long life milk. So it's shelf stable. I've got two jars of mayonnaise. This is shooting up in price. I can only assume it's because it has oil in it. It's got oil in it, doesn't it? And I have three jars of tomato sauce to use with pasta. It's only about 10 cents a jar, more than a tin of tomatoes. So it's a good thing to have as well. I know people go, well, you should make your own, but sometimes you just don't want to cook. Thankfully, I've got some sunflower oil here. It's come down in price again, so that was Two and a half euros for that one. I've then got concentrated laundry softener there. This own brand stuff hasn't been in the shops. We've been short of this, but it's back in there again. That's toilet cleaner. 
and this is it's very how would you call that I just can't be calling it condensed toilet roll anyway it's the equivalent of 12 ordinary packs in four and it's 135 and Americans please stay calm just stay calm I know you don't have coloured toilet paper and I know you're going to say oh in America they ban coloured toilet paper but I can assure you if you ever come to Europe and you use pink toilet paper your genitalia is not going to go up in smoke don't worry it's fine and last of all I've got corn flour I use this quite a bit because as you well know I don't eat wheat so again corn flour and that ends the shopping haul We hope that you found that interesting or entertaining in any way or you liked it. And if you did, go on, hit the like button. Have you hit the like button yet? Go on, make sure you hit it. Have you done it? Great, I'll carry on. Thanks to all our subscribers. And if you're not a subscriber, come on, join the Frugal family. We love to hear from you and we read every one of your comments. Is there anything that you want to say to us about the shopping that we bought today? Uh, was there anything that surprised you? Were you surprised how little or maybe how much we could buy for 174 euros? Just leaves me to say on behalf of Mike and I, thanks so much for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye for now.